Okay, today is the uh, Yuma Daf Chaf Aleph Yuma Twenty One um, on Chaf Aleph Mebeis. <coughs> the Gemara says um, about uh, third wide line, um, second wide line. Amar Ba'ashan Amar It says one of the Nisim that happened in the base on Migdash. Uh, ten nisim that happened based on Mikdash was that the the pillar of 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 smoke uh, that came from the fire on the mizbeach uh, wasn't moved by the wind. Uh, so the Gemara says the Gemara questions is Ashna Hamaracha Mihava was there even smoke that came from it? It said there was no uh, smoke that came from this fire. So the Gemara says, with the head yoke. We're talking about the fire that came from people. Uh, the fire of the Mizbeach uh, came from Shamayim that ate the Karbonos. Uh, there's also a mitzvah, the sign of an Astu Bnei Aaron, a Kohen, Eishel Mizbeach, Abu Sheishu, right? It's Mitzvah Shamayim, Mitzvah Lahavim in a head yoke. There's a mitzvah to put uh, two uh, pieces of wood and light a fire on Mizbeach uh, to consume the Karbonos, even though. Also, it was consumed from a fire from heaven. The Gemara continues. Uh, the Gemara says, Ravutza Ka'ari. It says in the Bryce before that the smoke of the, uh, the Rashi says the actual coal of the, the fire was shaped like a, a lion, a lion that was uh, Ravutza, a lion that was crouched. You see how Ravutza Kela, I saw it. <coughs> the, the coal. Uh, looked like a dog. Lokash. Kind of mikdash rishon. Kind of mikdash sheni. Mikdash sheni looked like a dog. Mikdash sheni miyahavai. Was there even uh, a, a concept of gachelas that came in a shemayim and consumed the carbonos? Amar Rabbi Shmuel bar Inya Ma'idich Siv Eretz Abo Avechab Ekrin Avechab Da Ma'ishna Dem Chusar Hey Eilach Mishu Dvarim Shuv Me Mikdash Rishon LeMikdash Sheni. There are five differences in Mikdash Rishon and Mikdash Sheni. And in Aaron the Kaporos the Kruv and Eishu Shchina Vruach Kodesh Vurim Metu Amri. So you see, Asia is one of the things that they didn't have in Mikdash Sheni. And whereas Ami in Mihava Hava, it did exist. This coal that came in the Shamayim uh, did exist. You were low Messiah. But it wouldn't help consume the, the, the Korban. They had to light a fire, and that entirely consumed the, the Korban by itself. Now, the explanation I'm giving over here that in Ravuta Kikelev and Ravuta uh, Kaari, that it looked like a lion or it looked like a. Uh, uh, a dog is basically on Rashi. Rashi says, "Ravut Sakari Gachelish and Afla Min Hashemayim If you make Shlomo of a Haisal Mizbeach at Shabam and Ashu with Silka Haisa Doma La Ari Rovitz, the coal actually looked like a crouching lion. Now, <clears throat> the problem with the Gemara is that it says that when in the base to make this reason, Alf Bishayish Yoredes Min Hashemayim, it should have said Alf Bishayish Yored Min Hashemayim. It only happened once that Gachelit fell down and. It was on the Mizbeach, and it consumed the Korbanos by itself. Sounds like it happened every time. Secondly, the Gemara, uh, when it makes the Chilak between Mason and Mekdash Rishon and Mason and Shani, it says in, in Mason and Mekdash Shani, uh, it did exist, this fire in Shemayim. Aval, so you alone Messiah, but didn't help. It sounds like the difference between the Mekdash Rishon and Mekdash Shani is whether the fire in Shemayim, this coal according to Rashi, whether it helped or not, not According to Art Scroll and according to the way they elucidated, it, um, of course they're the experts. Uh, can't argue on Art Scroll, but for purposes of this year, we'll uh, try to give Hidushim that maybe don't go along with Art Scroll. Uh, they say that um, the Art Scroll basically says that uh, the, the two logs that they put on the Mizbeach, uh, that was the Asian and a head yot, that was a symbolic act that didn't consume the, the carbon at all. Really, what consumed the carbon was the Eish Yarm Neshemayim, where this coal that came uh, from heaven, and that entirely consumed the carbon. But the Gemara seems to say, when it makes the chilek between the, the, the miraculous Eish of the Mikdash Rish and Mikdash Shani, is whether it was Messiah or not. It sounds like actually that the main fire that consumed the carbon, even Mikdash Rishon, was that came from the head yot, was the, the Eish that the, the Kohanim lit. Based on these questions, I'd like to explain, like basically what I'm saying over here is that, really, uh, Ravutza Ka'ari and Ravutza Kekelev is not really 
uh, shape of a gachelis. Like it says, Yoredes min Hashemayim, uh, it would come down from heaven. It sounds like it came down every time. That's what it says a lot of times in, in the Nevi'im, it's in the Torah, the Aish uh, went down and consumed the carbon. Um, that was the miracle that happened in the Be'ez HaMikdash. Um, Aish constantly went and consumed the carbon, But it started, uh, the main part of the fire came first from the head. Yo. That's it says in the Pesach, They put the main part, they lit the fire. And when they lit the fire, there was the, the meat was on the, the Mizbeach, and it started to consume it. And then, Siyua, the Siyua, the helping, the uh, assistance of the, con- the consumption of the Korban was done through Min HaShemayim. That was the Eish Min HaShemayim. And that's the imagery of Revutza Kekelev and Revutza Ke'ari. That it's an imagery. It doesn't mean that the actual coal was shaped like a lion or a crouching lion or a crouching dog. The difference between a crouching lion and a crouching dog is that you're like a crouching lion. If you see on all, uh, you know, there's brands of cars they have in uh, Yushalayim, they have on the, on the sewage, uh, the, the manholes, they have a picture of Yushalayim, they have a crouching lion. There's different types of crouching lions. The main type of crouching lion. Uh, and having coats of armor also is that the lion is basically uh, sitting up and it has its claws out four claws uh, two claws on top and two claws on the bottom um, so we can say that that's uh, symbolic of uh, helping out that the Ari is sitting down and its two claws uh, are helping out and that was the Eishman HaShemayim that the two hands of the lion were up helping out the Kelev, Rusa Kelev, is when the four leg uh, dog, when it's crouching, has all four legs down, and it's crouching, and it's not helping at all. And that's the chilek between Mikdash Rishon and Mikdash Shani is that uh, Mikdash Rishon, they brought fire in a head, you know, and that started to consume it, and Eishar and Meshamayim, and it helped it out like an Ari. In Mikdash Shani, uh, it was the Eish and Meshamayim, um, Happened, but it didn't cons- it didn't help at all. It was like a caliph, it didn't help the carbon at all. Really, the consumption of the carbon was entirely due to the age that was co- came from the head yoke.